they're going to vote. So they're going to watch your performances that you did yesterday, and they're going to vote. Yeah? Yes, of course, Ovi Asika is back on the Nigerian Idol season 9. Now, not as a judge, but as a guest judge in the final theatre week of the Nigerian Idol season 9 2024 edition. Just before the final top 10 will be selected to get into the live shows. And I must tell you, tonight was a very, very, very unexpected unexpected show from the fact that people at home nigerians are going to choose who gets into the live shows down to the choice of songs given to the housemates uh sorry to the contestants no i don't see our big brother they talk about <laughs> see guys it was crazy and i will tell you at some point it brought tears to our faces it brought joy, it brought sadness, but overall, we're happy to see how this is going. We don't want a show where we'll be expecting and predicting what we usually know of the show. So without further ado, please make sure you watch this video till the end because that's where you get the full lowdown. And of course, guys, I do not post the full performances on this, my videos because of copyright issues. So I'm just going to give you a, a, a quick preview of what we saw tonight and then when the show officially posts it you can go watch it on their channel now without further ado let's get right into this video now it might not be exactly how the performances came through but of course you are just going to get the full lowdown so um first on my list was mickey mickey was the first person to get the platinum ticket ever on the big brother uh oh sorry what the fuck why am i calling big brother jesus big brother i'm gonna do start to on the nigeria i do show from season one to now season nine this is the first time they're introducing platinum tickets where you get to uh from your auditions you get to the last stage of the theatre week before the live shows now mickey got the first ticket and then of course he chima and another guy uh, they all got three platinum tickets and we're hoping that they get to go through in the show now the show started with mickey as he did a song um i've forgotten the name i think leave the door open by is it sonic or something let me just put it out there he said that he would hate that being the first person to win the platinum ticket that he would get to be sent home chima's voice is strong chima is good but he doesn't have a form of stage presence and he was singing the song he transformed the song from what it would actually seem to have sounded like because honestly i don't really know the song he he was giving it a church vibe to it and it was not i couldn't understand the storyline in the song i didn't understand it and it hurts me to see that somebody who has this amazing kind of talent ended up getting a no from the judges and he was sent home he did get to go through it was really a very huge deal breaker what you doing where are you at oh you get past. don't say that i'm sipping wine Next was Tari, um, who sang um, Save Your Tears by The Weeknd. At some point, I was, I don't know the song. Honestly, most of the songs that they are giving this house, uh, these contestants, I really don't know them, but I might have heard it passively, like somebody playing it or I'm going through somewhere and then I heard it. But the song had no soul to it. It was just very casual, just, just feeling like a karaoke. In the end, he got a no from the judges. Next was Sapphire Winans, who sang A Lifetime by Maxwell. His own delivery was also almost like tari's own it was maybe worse than tari's own he also got a no it was just sad to see that these two amazing voices also got no's and they were sent home next on the list was Chioma who was on The Voice Nigeria and she was in the previous season uh, yeah she was in The Voice Nigeria I don't know if she was in the previous season of Nigerian Idol she sang If This Isn't Love by Jennifer Hudson for me who loves Jennifer Hudson I really haven't heard the song before maybe I've heard it but I never really took notice of it and it's a surprise now she officially became the first person to get on the top 10 and got to the first yes it was really awesome to see oh, 
Next, we had Teddy who sang um, Like I Want by Give On. He actually did well. He did well. I liked the song. I liked his delivery. I love his fashion. But in the end, the judges didn't really feel his song. And then he got a no. Sometimes I wish you knew. But I the, the next contestant was Mara Claire, who sang um, No Woman, No Cry. She sang Thames' version. And now she did so well that I felt if I didn't know or we didn't know that Thames sang her own version, I'd have said this was a unique, amazing transformation of the original song to the next. But still, she didn't do it exactly like Thames. She did so well. Now, um, it didn't necessarily sound like any of those, but it was very similar and beautiful. In the end, she got a yes. She was the second lady and the second person to be on the top 10. Next was Jaffet who sang um, Hold You For My Hand by Burna Boy. He, um, to be honest, he changed the song a bit and he did well to an extent but it was looking like it was not so much of a worthy performance and i don't know how best to put it now i'm not born boys one of his top fans but i listened to a few of his songs but to be honest jaffet did well in the end he got a no and heartbreakingly even though the delivery was a bit scattered and just not giving the real feel or better feel than the original song um he got a no and that was the second platinum ticket winner to leave the show he got a no i want to hold you so tight so tight coming closer it's been a hell of a ride and next was david garland now to be honest if any of you have watched my previous video i think the last video i posted i mocked david garland like i just felt his voice and his performance was just up there but boy did this boy shock me <laughs> he did um what's going on by marvin gay he sang it so well that i think one or two of the judges had to stand or somebody one of the judges was like yes like he got rikasani vibing yes it was rikasani he got a yes and this is officially the first guy and the third person to be on the top 10 list i just feel this guy is going to be really competitive furthermore in the show next is lady ruth who would be singing lauren diago's you said i am love and i can feel a thing you said I am this, I need it, 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 I believe. See, I cannot remember the lyrics of this song, but I need to go and learn it because this song has such power to it. It is motivational, it is beautiful. It is a song that it would be hard for anybody who sings to be able to deliver it wrongly. She sang the song. I didn't hear where she sang the full song, honestly. I didn't listen. We didn't, they didn't show us where she sang the verse. She just kept repeating the, the chorus of the song or the heat of the song. And in the end, it was really beautiful. People were vibing in the audience that is fellow contestants and the judges too she became the third lady and the fourth person to get a yes and to be on the top 10 list now you guys remember stevie right the guy with the long dreads who was a teacher and forfeited teaching for this competition now he sang um heartbreak anniversary by Gideon, and hey this boy this sing <laughs> stevie sings because what in the world are those runs he was giving like ah, did he I'm like, I I'll take it easy. If people like us come to this competition, you will send us home. Uh -uh. See, to be honest, no, this guy sang well. The judges were vibing. The, the fellow contestants were vibing. He officially is the second guy and the fifth person to get into the top 10 list and he deserves it. You used to make me laugh. Now that won't last the next contestant is Mayo, who will be singing um, Leosi. I think he was on a Nigerian, uh, um, South African Idol, and he sings so well. He sang his song is Seasons. I cannot remember the lyrics to that song, but <laughs> hey, Mayo sings. 
this is another person you guys should look out for because what in the world this song is so beautiful and it's on i feel the song also has its own natural power to it and of course in the end mario got a yes and is the third guy and the sixth person on the top 10 live show list now at this point i started feeling somehow i started feeling like housemates the judges know what they were doing they were giving the choice of songs to the contestants i didn't really like it felt as though they were cheating and they were giving people who they know can deliver a certain song they give them because they feel they deserve to be on the show or they'll give the show a better reputation while they were giving other housemates songs that were way too confusing not really their style because honestly stevie's song was a style Maya's song was a style lady root song was a style most of people have been getting here so far it is their style <laughs> Next housemate was Alfred who sang Peaches by Justin Bieber. He said he had never really sat down to listen to Justin Bieber's songs. Um, he sang okay. It, the, the song was almost empty, no soul, no sense of crazy delivery. It was just there. It was just like, okay, like a karaoke delivery. The boy cried because he knows that he didn't give his best. It was not his best, the choice of song and everything. And he was hoping that he would not go home. But in the end, he got a no. And it resonated that feeling of these judges are giving the songs they feel this person can perform well while they're giving other people that probably don't sing as good as the others songs that they will struggle with now this is just my opinion and you know you can share your own uh, opinion in the comment section next was chima chima is the third platinum ticket winner and the only one standing to probably go home or get into the top 10. now he sang a uh, stock on you by the same leosi that mayo music was giving and he did so well now for somebody whom i thought only sings solo and could not give a sense of range and pitch or loudness to his singing he did so so well to the extent that rikasani had to tell him that he feels like he wants to give him another platinum ticket he got a bold yes from the judges and became the seventh person on the top 10 list like well 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 deserving Next was Jennifer, who sang I'll Never Love This Way Again by Lady Gaga. And I must be honest. You see that grunting that um, Omaomi kept resonating that this girl has a very good grunting. This girl sang this song as though it was Lady Gaga. She grunted almost throughout. It was perfect to be honest she got a standing ovation like from the contestants and the judges it was good and wonderfully she sang on her birthday of course the judges uh, surprised her with a birthday cake and she got a very bold big yes well deserving <laughs> Next was Gracia who sang um, Adele's uh, No, I won't let you close enough to hurt me. No, I won't ask you. You just, just deserve me. I can give you what you think you give me. It's time to say goodbye to turning tables. That was what she sang. And at some point, I felt like this girl changing the song too much from the original melody it is. And it seems as though she forgot her lines, which she definitely did, and filled in this gap with some other words, which felt good and true. Uh, at some point, I was scared for her, to be honest. I was scared that she wasn't going to get a yes because... Uh, if you want to follow, okay, deliver it the way the song is and do well, she will get a no. But in the end, she got a yes because, of course, her voice resonates. Her voice is the song. Her voice is the kind of voice that you'll be like, you know what? Even if you didn't do well so well right now, I want to see what else you can do. Let me give you a second chance. She got a full yes, and I loved it. That was officially the ninth per person to be on the top ten list, leaving it to just one more space. One and then something crazy happened now the other contestants 
where of course we saw a flip show of them singing and honestly for the songs that they were giving they didn't deliver it well there was either no presence or the vocals were lacking or the person's voice was weak or there was just something so off about the performance at some point i honestly began to pity this contestant because it just felt like they were ambushed with what they wouldn't be able to do just to give away like i said earlier just to give away for those whom the show feel or expect to be in the show to give the show a very good competition or whatever but excuse you so each his own right but it came to lamy lamy's performance who sang for a case yo i think that's this girl um tenny um and then the other guy Jaffet, who sang um mario's you should let me love you let me be the one to give you all the things you want and need. Baby, you should let me love you. The both of them, their performances were kept a bit longer. They did kind of well. They forgot their lines. They almost changed the song's pattern. Especially Lamy. At some point, I'm like, hmm, if you get too much from this place, you're just going to send us to go and sleep. <laughs> And now they did well so much so that the judges decided to leave their fate to nigerians now lami and Jaffet will get the voting lines are open tonight even before the live shows people at home will vote for whom or which of them deserves to be in the show and my next week when the live show starts they're going to announce which of them gets it and of course both of you will be disappointed by it but hopefully um they can garner a lot of votes and get to the next stage and that's all i have for you on this particular episode the last of the theater week next week is going to be full live shows and i'm ready to bring you all the full lowdown and how amazing your favorite gets to do on the show so stick around and i'll see you on the next video